day 30 of 100 days of surrender. Ooh. All right, so navigating the vid, doing much better. My mental space is like fire. Um, really cool. I've had some, I'm just going to say, I'm going to start with, my heart has never been so full in all of my life, all of my life. There's been some things going on in the background that I will show very soon. There's just a few people that I have to inform first, and I'll explain that when I explain all of it. Um, but holy fuck, it can get really good, guys. Even though I've spent the last week on the couch watching endless documentaries and sleeping, um, there has been an exceptional amount of epiphanies and clarity and what why didn't I see this sooner moments so that's really great so I'll be sharing that probably tomorrow or Sunday Monday I don't know um yeah pretty cool um okay so being laid up on the couch and not feeling great as I'm like sniffling right now, I'm so sorry. Um, you know, I took as much time as I could to kind of dive into my shadows. Like, what am I afraid of? Why am I afraid of that? In all of these things, like you guys know that I, I, I want my Viking, right? Um, and that I'm really ready for that. And what are some of the things that have held me back from that? I want to change a million lives and I am so good at sabotaging myself, believe it or not. Um, real good at sabotaging myself there. It's just, my bed is so comfortable, like in between, um, client calls and stuff, like this might not make sense. So I'm going to try, I'm going to, okay, let me reset here. I work a lot and I give a lot. And I am highly ambitious to the point where people sometimes look at me like my dreams are obnoxiously large and unrealistic and that I live in a daydream world. I refuse to believe that. Um, I can see in some areas, yes, I definitely live in a daydream world, um, but I like it there. So I don't care. That's my reality. And I know that my dreams are huge and changing a million lives is a big feat for a girl who literally is like born Jane and Finch area in Toronto and grew up in the ghetto and was pushed around into like, you know, a bazillion homes and then whatever. Right. Um, so, you know, I came from nothing and I've always had this drive, this ambition, this, this knowing in my core that I was meant for something. And I've created the dream life for myself and from an outsider's perspective, the dream life, right? Like never in a bazillion years did I think that I would be where I'm at right now, but it's nowhere where I'm going to be. That's for sure. Um, it won't stop. I'm not, I'm never going to, never going to stop chasing these dreams, chasing, allowing, unfolding, evolving into my dreams. Um, but having said that, I, I do a lot. And so from an outsider's perspective, um, any relationship that I've had in the past, I'm not good at doing nothing at all. I'm not good at sitting and just like doing nothing. So it appears, <laughs> right? I, I hope this is going to make sense in the end. So my partners in the past have always been like, give yourself permission to relax. Like you're always going, you're always thinking. And I'm like, I'm always getting downloads. Like I have a notebook that I carry around with me so I can jot them down or I'm voice clipping it to someone so that I don't lose sight of it. And thank God I have the team that I have because they get endless things from me and start to put it into motion for me. I am so freaking good at coming up with a concept and developing a program. And then I am horrible at pulling the trigger for it. And I know it doesn't seem that way from, you know, looking at it from an outsider's perspective because we're always launching something, but there's so much more that I want to bring to the world, right? So much more. Um, and so in those moments when I'm being like highly um, 
like lots of inspiration and ideas and I'm putting things into motion, there comes this defining moment where I'm like, I'm just going to go sit on my bed for like, I'm going to go meditate. I'm going to go napitate. And I feel within myself that that's a piece of sabotage of um, fears of, I have a strong fear that I have been navigating through for a long time and healing for a long time. That's always sort of going to surface for me. Um, maybe not always, but it does still surface for me of sustainability that, you know, I get to a certain space in whatever, and it's so good. And then this fear kicks in of like, is this sustainable? Like, is it going to get pulled away from me or taken from me? And rightly so based on my childhood, for sure. Um, so in those moments where I'm just about to tip the scale into the next level up, I'm like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go meditate. I'm gonna go have a nap. I'll have a glass of wine. Um, and I and I I see that as sabotage. So I haven't been drinking. I've been drinking on the weekends, but no drinks through the week. And then getting COVID and being stuck, you know, with my feet up on the couch and realizing, like, oh, this is super nice. Like I really enjoyed it. But in all of that came the clarity of I need to schedule this differently. I desire to schedule it differently. I des desire to put into my calendar, daily calendar, you can sabotage here and then you're going to be action oriented here. Um, so anyways, yeah, a lot of clarity in and around that. I don't know if that made any sense, but anyway, something I'm navigating right now. And yesterday, even though I still wasn't feeling great, inspiration is coming through really hard for me right now. And in that there's this new sense of power. Um, there's also been a huge transition in my personal life that I'll share later, um, that has just set my soul on fire in such an incredible way. It has made me look at myself and be like, oh no, I'm stepping into the best possible version of this for myself, for life. Um, and I've never really had that experience before. I've never wanted to be the best possible version because of something else. Um, so that's really cool. It's really neat, actually. So there's that. Um, really clear on a couple of like of my lifestyle fears. So that's really good. And I feel like I am stepping into a timeline of unstoppable. Yeah, right? Like I, the energy in February is very creative. It's very shit or get off the pot energy. There's like, no, cut the shit, step in or fucking surrender because March is going to take you down if you surrender. And I just have this like passion in me right now to like, let's go. It's game time. Like, I feel like I'm about to like walk out on the field and I'm going into the game and I'm like, no, it's mine. Um, it's ours you know, those of us that are here to create drastic change on this planet, it's our time. And I want to go as high as I can go. I want to light up the higher I go, the bigger my light, the more I'm shining light on the shit that's not working in this world. And so I feel very fiery, very passionate, very inspired right now. I feel an immense amount of gratitude. Like my heart actually hurts a little bit today in a good way. It's like expanding so big. Um, so that's really friggin' amazing. I am going to launch something totally out of character for Valentine's Day um, for women only at this point with Sarah Rose, one of the mentors that works on my team. We're going to, I really desire to like one, one of my things right now is the amount of fluffy bullshit, woo-woo, craptacular spiritual ego that's out there. Like, ugh, I don't like it. And men and women both. And I've been saying that for a bit. Um, I really think that it's not supportive for this spiritual journey. I think people are waking up so fucking fast right now. I don't want them hitting a glass ceiling and thinking that their power is outside of themselves and like, trust divine timing and the universe has your back. That's bullshit. That is not what it is. It's the quantum realm. And when you understand the quantum realm, I'm going on a rant, I realize when you understand the quantum realm, 
you understand that you are always and always have been and always will be in absolute full control of how your reality unfolds and how your ascension, your awakening, your evolution happens. And it doesn't have to be this horrible, dark, disgusting thing. And it doesn't have to be woo-woo, fluffy shit either. And so I'm fiery. And this has been building for a little bit, but I had to process a couple of things and get them out of the way. Maybe not the right terminology there, but move through a couple of things. And now this fire is under my ass so hard. And I've had the time to sit back and reflect for an entire week. Um, and I'm, I'm done. Like I made a, a video on my birthday about being fucking done. So I'm not going to sit back and be quiet anymore. I want to bring the badass, no bullshit, get it fucking done. Step in, feel how good it feels energy to the world. That's a little scary and daunting. Um, cause I don't know how that's going to be received, so we'll find out. <laughs> we still have 90 days or how, what, we're on 30. We still have 70 days together. So we're going to find out what happens. Um, but yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done being the small version of me. And I mean, I'm much larger than I've ever been, but I'm not playing small anymore either. So I'm just formulating a TikTok kind of subject list right now. Um, I'm going to take a lot of the letters to myself that I put up on my wall and bring those into TikTok videos. Um, and I want to change a million lives. Like that's been my goal since I was a little girl was to change a million lives. And I'm not saying that I know the exact right way to do it at all. I just absolutely know what not to do. And I think I have figured it out. I have co-create, I can co-create with universal flow and I can manifest anything. And it's not about manifesting anything. It isn't about the things it isn't about the receiving all the things it is about the level of fulfillment that you are experiencing because when you are fulfilled you are overflowing for everything else in your life and that's what i want for the world is for them to figure out how to self-fulfill and then pour that shit on everything so pretty fiery pretty clear pretty fierce really fucking hope i keep this energy let me tell you it's not easy to sustain this um and it's easy to get distracted and it's easy to navigate. So I'm revamping my schedule for next week. Like today's Friday. So I teach my, the last day of the retreat tomorrow. I'm off to Niagara Falls um, for something on Sunday and back Monday. And Monday I'm hitting the ground with like, all right, I'm scheduling in my self-sabotage. Gonna do it because I know I'm gonna do it anyways. So if I have everything that I need in order and there's my little sabotage moment my little rest my little go put your feet up indulge in tiktok or whatever the hell you want to do moment i feel that i'm going to be able to move through and conquer more and i really want that for you so february is a creation month it is a stepping in month it is a here's the light here's what to do i've walked this path a hundred times i can do a blindfold it now so follow me. Like, let me lead the way so that you don't step where you don't need to step. I can take you as far as I know how to get there. Um, and I want that for you as well. So today and the weekend is a great day of processing. What have I mastered? What am I mastering? What can I bring to the world? How do I want to deliver that into the world? How do I want to deliver it? We still have a lot of third dimensional stuff going on. So I don't want you to look at going into third dimension and I don't want to look at going into third dimension as something that's uncomfortable. It's a playground. It's a playground. So we get to do that however we want. When we're residing in fifth, sixth, seventh dimensional consciousness, um, it's not a state of being. The world doesn't change. It doesn't look different. You just experience it different. Um, you get to go in and play in third dimensional consciousness. And that's that like dense ego world. So I'm going to go trigger some motherfuckers and you're welcome for me triggering you because maybe that will catapult you. If you want to hate me, cool, do it, do it. Cause eventually you'll be looking in the mirror. And if you want to be like, Oh yeah, then cool. Let's do that. And I want you to do the same thing. So beautiful vibes Feb, for all of February. Um, so let's ride it. Like 
shit or get off the pot. It's time. Like I'm cutting the shit, fucking bringing it out. Like, let's do it. I'm really excited about um, this Valentine's Day event that I'm doing with Sarah Rose because it's a whole other so badass. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's so badass. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And there's just a lot of good stuff going on. So cool. The other thing, side note, um, when I was talking about like scheduling my day or whatever, I don't know if I've shared this here or not, but I share it quite a bit with my clients. I am a huge fan of managing your day so your day doesn't manage you. And that takes determination, focus, and boundaries. Fucking boundaries. So every day I schedule my life. So it doesn't, so it doesn't get away from me. And that's what's allowed me to hit this level of success with the company and be able to have an umbrella that I can have other mentors under now. Um, I schedule everything from my workouts, my shower time, when I'm eating, I know what I'm eating when I'm eating. So I'm not standing at the fridge for an hour going like, Oh, I don't know what I want. I, and I don't expect you to be as intense as I am, but when you schedule yourself, you will be so much more productive and the energy flow is so much easier. So my meditations are scheduled my life is scheduled. And then at eight o'clock, that's my free time. So I get to do whatever I want from eight o'clock to 10 o'clock, whether that's talking to soul family, um, or others things, um, or playing with the dog or going for like whatever I want to do. That's my like two hours of like, boop, I can, I can sit and just watch TikTok if I want to. Um, although I had been taking a break from that, but I think I'm ready to start introducing social media back into my life a little bit. Cause that was a long haul and it can get pretty boring and you can only read so much and you can only watch so many documentaries. And so here we are. So I'm slowly letting that filter back in. And it's funny because I'm not reaching for it as much as I was like, I broke the habit of it always being in my hand. And now it's just like, eh, if I want to do it, I do it. And if I don't, I don't, but I'm just a little bit more mentally clear on it. If that makes sense. It's funny how a month can change so many things. Anyway, I rambled forever. I love you. Happy day 30. How, comment. So I get so many love letters and I love you for it and never stop sending them like legit. And I haven't shared any of them because they're so intimate. Um, but I don't want to share them because it's not my place to share that story. But I love the support when you comment on the video, it helps me get into the algorithm and I do want to change a million lives. So please help me comment on the videos. Let me know how 30 days in of your surrender is going. Let me know what resonates. Let me know what doesn't resonate. Let me know if you think being a badass is like, okay, in this world, I don't really care because I'm going to do it anyways. Let's find out. But like, what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, support me. I love you. You support me with love letters. So hit like and comment, even if it's just like an emoji, it helps me get into the algorithm so that I can touch more lives. So please, I'm being vulnerable and asking for help. I turned into one of those. Like, share, and follow. Blah, gross. Okay. Blah. Happy day 30. I probably won't be around until Monday. So I'll do a recap of the whole weekend and I'm going to drop some life changes on Monday as well. Stay tuned. <laughs>